Hi EJ, Hi, Francois here from Pageant Mag Philippines. So it's been quite a long while, EJ. Yeah. Um, long overdue, ship, if I may call long it. Long overdue invitation, <laughs> sir. No. Okay. So um, yes, in this journey of yours with um, Great Man of the Universe Philippines 2022, I some parang comeback rin sa you. How would you? Um, how would you define that? Actually, it feels surreal because um, I thought 2017 was the end of the road for me in terms of pageantry. Mm -hmm. But now, after five years, I came back and uh, it, feels, it feels surreal because I don't know if I pa ako eh. I don't know if may support pa ako matatanggap after so much hiatus pero luckily and fortunately I got so much support from different people even those people na hindi ko pa na meet in person so sobrang thankful lang talaga ako So what really inspired you or motivated you to come back to the pageantry despite your achievements despite the sp your stability in work and of course being single Oh what inspired me to go back into pageantry? Mm -hmm. um, nga po, after five years, I thought, tapos na. Pero kasi, ang daming tao kumipilit sa akin sumali. I don't know what they saw in me, pero sige, I, I gave it a try. Kasi, after all, wala namang mawawala eh. Mm -hmm. Kaysa naman, pagkaroon ako ng what ifs pag tumanda na ako. So, better try ko na lang siya. And, nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga tao kung talagang sinaga ako na kumbinsihin na pumalik sa pageantry. Kasi if without them, I wouldn't be here naman competing for the great man of the universe Philippines. For sure, you've seen the um, the changes yeah. and um, I mean, the um, the competition in pageantry right now you've seen how really tough would it be yeah. right so um there are many things to be considered especially height a lot a lot mm. so what can you say about height requirements when it comes to pageantry these days oh is it really necessary mm -hmm. for you for men of course it's a plus always yeah. as always what do you think about that you're right sir um being tall is A+, plus. Mm -hmm. but then again, there's more than meets the eye. If you can speak what's inside you, if you can inspire a lot of people, if you can make a difference in the lives of others, if you can contribute in the development of your community, then I believe that it's more fruitful and worthy rather than having a physical, um, physical gift but you can't use it in, in the benefit of others. So I guess I am here to really break the stereotype of picking a pageant male winner, especially here in the Philippines. I am short, I'm only 5'8", but I believe I'm more than 5'8", because I look at life taller than my height. So um, with, with that being said, no, um, before you join, uh, great man of the universe. Yeah. Um, we truly know, or everybody knows yeah. that you've um, you've joined a pageant. However, you withdrew. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, can you tell us more about that? Just oh. to give us a little background of your pageant journey. Okay. So this is not my first pageant after I came back. Mm -hmm. um, I withdrew from that pageant because I feel like. I needed to be out of the system because there's more and I needed to be in a system where I think I it fits me. Mm -hmm. You know you know what I mean sir. So it's like I identifying what suits you best. So mm -hmm. I believe I am here in Great Man of the Universe because I am seeing myself I'm working with the organization because again um, for all um, who are watching right now, 
who don't know me, I am a licensed teacher. So one of the best um, features and best um, um, advocacy that Great Man of the Universe Philippines is supporting is the sports and education. So I, I identify myself on that um, cause. That's why I'm here. All right. So what do you think um, does the Great Man, or I mean Great Man of the Universe Philippines, looking for the great man of the universe philippines organization mm -hmm. is looking for someone who doesn't just possess the physical attributes of being a winner a male winner but also someone who is sensible and sensitive in the community someone who is not afraid of being out there and talking about so many causes that he believes in. And I believe that I am that person. And you mentioned a while ago, I just um, I just wanted to pick up from that, that uh, you've joined a lot of pageants before, which I can definitely yeah, remember yeah, that so uh, well. Um, if I could remember, if not all of those um, pageants that you, were, that you actually swiped the, the title, if not at least a runner-up, yeah. correct? Yes, sir. So joining Great Man of the Universe right now, or Great Man Universe, Great Man of the Universe Philippines, Philippines 2022, yeah. could definitely be something, could definitely, um, I mean, there is already something in you, yeah. right? Do you, do you have any pressure with those winners that you have from the past? Actually, this is a different ballgame. The, ex the experience that I got from the past pageants that I've joined is something that I can use in order for me to ele elevate my performances. Mm -hmm. But again, this is a new experience, this is a new challenge, and I just have to perform, I just have to deliver, I just have to show the organization that I have what it takes for, for me to become a winner, mm -hmm. one of their winners. All right. So at least there is something that you can make use yeah. for this journey right now. In um, still in the pageantry, there are a lot of um, issues in the pageantry mm -hmm. right now. Um, there are pageants that are already accepting. Um, say, let's say, for example, yeah. Miss Universe. They're accepting um, married women or oh. even those that are single mom. Okay with a child of course and um what do you think about that what's your opinion on that could could it also be applied in male pageantry such as uh, great men of the universe philippines do you um, think it's possible i am 50 50 because the reason why we have a lot of pageants is because every pageant has their own advocacy has their own beliefs has their own criteria of choosing a winner um if the Miss Universe organization decided to um, allow the married and those single moms to join. I think it's kind of 50-50 for me. Mm -hmm. Again, why? Because um, how about the Miss? Mm -hmm. There's already a pageant for the Misses. Mm -hmm. It's Misses Universe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to apply that also in male pageant. If um, the Great Man of the Universe Philippines sets a requirement and this is the only requirement then we should follow that, we should respect that. So, yeah, it brings confusion it, if yeah. there's already misses. Mm -hmm. But um, there is also this kind of, uh, I'm not pretty sure if it's a pageant but it's always being uh, considered as pageant but it's also a modeling pageant. Oh, okay. yeah, so, um, that organization also accepts men, it's okay. actually for men, okay. accepts men with a child unless it is not married. What's your stand on that? Okay. My man stand. with a child unless it's not married. Yeah, that's right. Again, that's Single what, I, as what I've said. Um, every organization, they set their specific, own uh, yeah, set They their have own their own rules and regulations and criteria in, in picking and selecting candidates and eventually their winners. So if that or specific organization allows um, single dads 
right? Mm -hmm. Single dads to join, then who are we to question that? Who are we to take away their happiness? So let's just respect them, everyone, I guess. Absolutely, it's always respect that yeah. we can definitely, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's the best attitude that we can actually yeah. mm -hmm. give to give. whatever, um, shall we call, set of uh, requirements that they mm -hmm. could have, right? So, um, moving forward, e EJ, um, what would your supporters expect from you, especially your family, in this journey? In this journey, aside from, of course, I am here mm -hmm. because I am expecting, I am eyeing to win one of the titles of the Great Man of the Universe Philippines. And then I am also expecting to work for about a year with the organization. That's my main objective right now, to, all, to make them feel that I am ready for the job that they are offering us. So let's see, let's see what's in store for me. So uh, I just have to be up, uh, updating my, I just have to update my social media every now and then. All right, that's good. Um, you mentioned that there could be a, um, few titles at stake yep, yep. for great men of the universe philippines can you tell us more about that what are these other titles aside from great men of the philippines yep. aside from the main title great men of the universe philippines, philippines right? aside from the um title the main title which is the great man of the universe philippines there's also great man of the universe philippines culture and tourism which of course will support and will um will work hand in hand with the tourism department of the Philippines. There's also um, charity and advocacy, which will support the chosen advocacy of the organization itself. Um, there's also Great Man of the Universe Philippines um, Sports and Education, which will work closely with the Department of Education. So um, the last one is, I think, the ambassador or the program. Are all these titles, um or are all these titles will also be joining international international pageants? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Shandy uh, already told us that she will look for specific um, um, international competitions for different um, pageant titles. Pageant titles in the in an international competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so of course, um, well, in a few days from now, you will be having that coronation, coronation the finale yeah the finale for the miss for the great man of the universe will 2022 so what are the preparations what have you prepared um, much oh I have been preparing so hard for this um, I even created my own team just to be able to to focus on the, on the preparation. I was able to build my own camp, so I'm one of the head of that camp, and they've been so supportive of me. Um, I couldn't thank them more than what I can say, so I, w I am just so excited for what's in store for me in the finals. I am so excited for what's in store for everyone else, like my co-candidates who are passing by right now. So, I'm I'm so grateful and um, positive that the organization will choose and pick the right and uh, right winner and deserving winner on the coronation night on November 30th. Mm -hmm. Speaking of camp, uh, EJ, um, how necessary it is for a candidate, for an aspiring um, beauty king uh, to have his um, own camp or team in such a pageant like this? Of course, if you have your own team, you have your own core, you can really relay what's on your mind. You can really, and uh, the people who are, you, uh, who are you going to work with will execute what's on your mind. So it's really important that you select the right people who will be working closely, closely with you so that you will be able to feel that what's on your mind, you will be able to execute that and you will be able to perform well in whatever um, segment of the competition. Mm -hmm. 
To whom are you sharing this journey? I'm sharing it with everyone who believes in my capacity. Even though I have a lot of insecurities and setbacks, they still believe in me. Um, ever since I started joining pageantry, I, I always hear backlashes. I always, always hear negative comments about me. But I didn't falter because of those uh, these people who are supporting me up until this very moment. So I thank them so much. Speaking of negative comments, EJ, how do you handle that? I handle that by shrugging it off and just thinking of positive things because what better ways to live your life is by just looking at life positively and just don't entertain negative because it won't help you at all. Alright, so thank you so much EJ. Thank you so much. Sir. Any word for your supporters? Oh, I love you all. I thank you for the endless um, support that I am getting in social media and even in person um, just a while back after our parade I got a lot of um, emails I got a lot of messages from Instagram and Facebook uh, congratulating me so thank you so much I appreciate your support and please 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 again continue supporting me up until the finals on November 13th that's happening very soon all right, thank you so much once again, EJ, and good luck to thank the journey, of course, on the coronation. Thank you, for Thank you, sir. Audio Jungle.